Steak Diane is a legendary beef dish. Don't miss these important tips to properly honor this classic. All right, let's dive right into the star of the show, our super tender steaks. If you're not familiar with it, let me introduce you to the flat iron steak. Cut from the top blade of the chuck, it's actually the second most tender of all steaks. We've got two eight ounce steaks here and check out those great flecks of marbling. First, let's season them up. I'm using our special blend of Himalayan flake salt and five pepper melange. Season generously and evenly on the first side. Then we'll flip and season the other side. Did you see that grain direction? I'm gonna tell you why that's important a little later. Set these aside for a minute and we'll get our sauce ready to go. Pour a quarter cup of heavy cream into a half cup of beef stock. Add a couple teaspoons of Dijon here. This is such a great combination. You're gonna love this sauce. If you wanna get all measure measure about it, go for it. Then a couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce for some added umami. And there you have the makings of a magical sauce. Whisk things up and set aside for now. Let's get a shallot ready to go. Cut the top off and cut it in half lengthwise. Peel the outer layer off and get those knife skills working with some fine dicing action. One small shallot gives us just the right amount of onion base for this sauce. Let's get a clove of garlic ready to join the party. Same as the shallot, peel the skin off and hone those knife skills. One of our favorite ways to get minced garlic ready is by using the side of our chef knife. Smash gently to get the skin off then smash a little more aggressively to pancake that clove. This just gives you a head start on mincing. If you want to keep garlic off your fingers, use a paring knife to clean the stuck on garlic from the chef knife. Once it's nice and fine, the garlic can join the shallots and we're ready to get some steak searing. Set a large heavy bottom saute pan over medium heat and add a little oil. Make sure your hood vent is cranking and set those beautiful flat irons in the hot pan with plenty of space around them. After two to three minutes, they'll be browned nicely and lift easily from the pan. Flip them both and sear the other sides. Once we're browned on both sides, transfer them to a clean plate and set aside while we build our mushroom sauce. Add a little butter to the pan and swirl that around to get it melting. Pull it from the heat if it's too hot and burning. Then toss in sliced cremini mushrooms. You might know these as baby bellas. Spread them quickly as best as you can to create a single layer in the pan and get browned. What's cool is that they'll be pulling up those brown bits from our steak and make our sauce even richer. Toss and brown the mushrooms further. Notice how the pan is getting dry. Keeping the high heat and browning the mushrooms to a mahogany color will add even more rich flavor to our sauce. Toss in the garlic and shallot and mix things around. Stand back away from the stove, especially if you have a gas stove, and add the brandy to flambe. Now, because we have an induction cooktop, I'll show you how to burn off the alcohol and get a proper flambe. With the brandy in my right hand, I add about a third cup and quickly set the bottle down. I'll grab the click lighter and introduce a flame to the alcohol and boom! You'll create a little fireball, which will burn off the alcohol and concentrate the brandy flavor into the sauce. Stir things around and when the flame goes out, add our magical cream sauce blend to the mushrooms. Mix things around and bring the sauce to a boil. Reduce the heat to low and simmer until the sauce thickens up. I like to scrape the bottom of the pan with a heat proof spatula to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. Here's a quick test to show you what I mean. Stir the spoon in the sauce and run your finger along the back of it. If the line holds, it's good to go. Bring those flat irons that have been waiting so patiently back into the pan to finish cooking. If you feel like your sauce has gotten too thick, go ahead and stir in a splash more cream. Keep simmering to take the steaks to your favorite temp. For me, that's medium rare. So I'll pull them when the center of the steaks are rare, specifically 125 degrees, because I know they'll climb five to 10 degrees to my target. Take a look at this chart, and if you wanna cook them a little further, go ahead but I strongly caution you against taking flat iron steaks past medium. Flip the steaks over and get them cooked evenly and coated with the sauce. This is such a great recipe for two. Don't miss out on getting every bit of this sauce and mushrooms onto each steak. We'll go ahead and plate those up. A flat iron is already super tender, but if we cut across that grain direction, we'll get it even more tender in each bite. Well, let's have a taste. 
cut right down the middle of this thing and see what we've got. Be sure to like and subscribe. Perfect medium rare. Cream sauce. Everything in one. It's so tender. And those mushrooms and that cream sauce takes in and that, that hint of brandy in there. Switching from a tenderloin to a flat iron, brilliant. You'll be a hero when you make this steak. We'll see you next time in the test kitchen. Little ditty about steak and Diane. Two tender steaks hitting the hot pan.